Hey, 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 Pajama Grandma, Sharon Horn Elstrom here with Pajama Grandma's Chronic Painkillers Prescriptions. Now you might be thinking, what the heck is a painkiller prescription and why on earth would I listen to it from a pajama grandma, meaning an old lady in her pajamas and bathrobe and a funky looking colored bathrobe at that. Well, you would listen to her because she's super old and wise because she's lived and been through a whole lot of nonsense and she knows how to be cozy and live the life she deserves. <laughs> Regardless, that is what I'm doing. I am sharing some tips, tricks, strategies, techniques, and things that I've tried and learned over the last 37 years dealing with chronic illnesses and chronic pain that almost took me out of the game, the game of life. And more than once, not just, not just you know once, but a handful of times, up to and including a sudden cardiac arrest. I mean, I've been as close to out of this whole game of life as you can possibly be. And I'm still here, I'm still positive, and I'm still creating the life that I want. And I know that you can do the same thing too. And that's what's kind of motivated me to share these prescriptions with you, these tips, tricks, and strategies that worked for me. Because I've used myself over the last several decades as like a science experiment. I've tried things that, and I've tried lots of things, and some of them worked really, really well, and some of them just plain sucked and didn't work at all, and were a complete waste of my time and my money and my energy and my effort. But everything I've ever done has moved me ahead, and I've continued to make progress in dealing with my chronic illnesses and chronic pain. So today's prescription is one that I learned from, and I, I try to remember who I've learned these things from, but I've studied so many different people and tried so many different things, I can't always remember. But this one I do remember. I learned this one from Esther and Jerry Hicks, back when Jerry Hicks was still alive, and Abraham. And I'm not going to get into the whole thing about that, because I know for a lot of you, it's way, way, way too woo-woo, and you would just turn me off and not listen to me at all if I told you the source of this. So... Just know that I learned it from some experts that have studied it and applied it and researched a whole lot more than I have. But I tried it in my own life and I found out that it worked and that's why I have made it a part of my routine and why I wanna share it with you because it's so darn powerful. So what is this prescription of which you speak, Sharon? It is the 17 second and the 68 second rule. Now, if you know me, I don't really believe in rules that much I believe in guidelines and I believe in um, doing what I want and then asking for forgiveness, not asking for permission. And I like to make up my own rules. So it's not really a rule, it's a guideline, but I think it's probably kind of a universal thing. And since time is made up anyway, again, another woo-woo concept and a belief I have, I think that this is just as valid as time is. So for a true prescription that is as valid as time, here you go. 17 seconds and 68 seconds. What the heck does that mean? If we think of something for 17 seconds, that triggers other thoughts like it to enter into our mind and our subconscious and our life. So if I'm thinking about how bad my head hurts for 17 seconds, all of a sudden my brain and my subconscious are going to start serving me up all the reasons that my head hurts and will continue to make my head hurt for a long, long time. Now, if I go ahead and perpetuate those thoughts and let those thoughts run rampant in my head for a total of 68 seconds, now I've put enough energy behind that that every time I get a little bit of a headache, boom, it triggers that big stream of negative thinking about how my head hurts over and over and over again so that all I have to do is think about my head hurting instantly and I've got that 68 seconds of head pain accumulated with the next 68 seconds and the next time and every time I think about my head ever hurting and me ever having a migraine, I can get into that really bad negative state instantly now and I can have an excruciatingly painful migraine automatically. Now, yeah, that's how it works the bad way toward contributing negatively to our chronic illness and chronic pain, but guess what? You can use it to do good things too. So if I think 17 seconds about how awesome I feel and that I'm fit, trim, energized, and active and that my life always goes the way I want it to and that my life is getting better and better, if I think about that for 17 seconds, all of a sudden, and if I keep thinking about that for 68 seconds, now my brain and my subconscious mind are feeding me all the things to create and have that show up in my life. So guess what I do now? I think of all the things I want for 17 seconds and then keep letting thoughts come for 68 seconds. So next time I think about what I want, 
it does the same thing. I want to be fit, trim, energized, and active. Now, I've thought about that for 17 seconds, and I've thought about that for 68 seconds. So whenever I think that or say that phrase in my head, all of a sudden, all the positive energy that's around being fit, trim, energized, and active shows up in my brain and my subconscious and helps to manifest and create that in my life. So you can use this awesome, cool rule of or guideline of 17 and 68 seconds to make you feel miserable and horrible and make you feel worse and have your pain and your chronic illness as bad as it can possibly get. Or you can turn it all around and use this to make you feel awesome. There's a reason I say I feel awesome a lot because I might not actually be feeling awesome, but every time I say I feel awesome, it's triggering the 1768 in my brain and in my mind and in my life. And before I know it, I feel freaking awesome. I feel awesome almost every day. I actually feel awesome. I've got a migraine and I feel awesome. How terrific is that? How marvelous is it going to be when you put this power in your life? How is that going to impact your chronic pain or your experience of chronic pain? I can tell you from personal experience, it's going to revolutionize it. So today's prescription, do this. Do this at least once. Think about something that you want and only about what you want. Focusing on what you want with as much feeling and um, emotion and as many senses as you can for 17 seconds. And then notice after 17 seconds, all of a sudden your brain and your subconscious kick in and they start feeding you more things that contribute to that thought, that feeling, that belief, that emotion. And before you know it, I feel awesome becomes a positive trigger for you. I am fit, trim, energized, and active becomes a positive trigger for you. And instead of triggering the chronic pain and the negative thoughts and the agony in your life, you're now triggering the things that you want in your life. Go out, take this prescription, do this today. Kill your chronic pain and take back your life. I will see you again soon with another Pajama Grandma Chronic Painkiller Prescription. Have an awesome day. Bye.